hi everyone welcome back to the channel and in today's video i will try to configure my windows machine to sign my git commits using gpg keys and why do you want to do this because signed commits are marked as verified on github and other people can be confident that the changes are coming from a trusted source so yeah let's try to do this all right guys so first thing what i will do i'll go to my github account and i will create a new repository so that i can show you how a verified commit looks and how an unverified commit looks so what i'll do i'll click on new to create a new repository and now i'll give this a name so signed commits demo okay and then i will add a readme file and I will click on create repository perfect so this will create a new repository on github all right there you go so now this repository is available and as you can see over here it's showing us one commit so I will click on this link and as you can see when I click on this link I'll just zoom a bit yeah perfect so as you can see this is showing as verified okay so let me just click here and it is giving me a message that this commit was created on github.com and signed with github's verified signature so what this means that any commit which you make from github.com github will automatically sign it for you okay so yeah that's cool but let's try to do one thing okay so let's try to clone this uh, repository on my local machine so what i'll do i will copy this url and i will clone it so i'll do git clone and then i will give this uh, repository url perfect and now i will open this repository with uh, our visual studio code so let me open this repository on vs code okay perfect so this is our readme file so what i'll do i'll try to make change i'll commit it and i will push it on github and let's see how that looks okay so i'll make a change unsigned commit from windows 10 okay and what i'll do i will try to push this on github so i'll do git add dot git commit message unsigned commit all right let me just do this and i will push it git push perfect and let's just go back to our repository and let's click on this uh, again and as you can see the commit which i have made the recent commit which i have made from my windows machine it is not showing this verified tag interesting right so this is what we will try to fix now that uh, we want our commits to be signed okay so we will configure git on our windows machine to sign our commits using gpg keys all right perfect so to do this first of all you need one software on windows machine so we will search for it so it's called gpg for win.org so just go to this website and in this website you you see this button big button to download gpg for win so this is what you will need on your windows machine i have already installed it but i can show you how to install so just click on this download button and in this page they will ask for you to donate if you want to do that you can do donate but i will select dollar zero and i will click on download that's it this will uh, this will download the installer so i'll click on save and when this downloader is available you can click on this exe file and it will start the installer okay so we will just uh, quickly wait for this installer to come up so this is how the installer looks you can click on next you can click on next i will select all the defaults click on next and then it will ask for location i'll select the default and then you can click on install that's it nothing else is required so i've already installed it so i will not install it again i'll cancel this and next thing what i want to do now you we want to generate a gpg key okay so to generate a gpg key what i will do i will run a simple command so yeah so the command is called gpg dash dash full generate key so this is the command which you want to run gpg dash dash full generate key so as soon as you will run this 
uh, now the software will ask what kind of key you want okay so I will select one RFA and RSA and then it will ask for the how how long the bits should be so RSA keys may be uh, between 1024 and 4096 so I will select 4096 yeah that's it and now it is asking me how long the key should be valid so I want my key to be valid for one year so I'll select one Y okay one Y means one year and then I'll press enter now it is showing me that it it will expire on 2023 uh, so that is looking good so I'll say that yes this is correct and now this is important part so here you have to provide your real name okay so I'll give my real name which is there in github so I'll do give Ashish Singh Bilhel perfect and now I have to give the valid email address this email address has to match the email you have configured on github okay so I will give this the right email address ashish.sfagil at the rate outlook.com perfect comment I will give the comment github key and now this information is looking good ashish singh baghel github key ashish dot as well everything is looking good so i'll select o for okay and there you go so now it is trying to generate the key and it is asking me if i want to protect my private key using a passphrase okay so what i'll do i'll give it a passphrase hmm. yes perfect so now I have given the passphrase and it will try to generate my GPG key so we will just wait for a couple of seconds for this software to generate our GPG key and then we will see okay perfect so now it is telling me that this key has been generated GPG key is available okay so this is looking good so what I will do I will run a command to fetch the ID for this key okay so what I'll do, I will run this GPG list secret keys command. So I want to list, yeah. So GPG list secret keys key ID format long. This is the command which you want to run. Yeah. So I will sell, I will try to run this again. Let me just uh, clear this screen. Yeah. So GPG list secret keys key ID format long. So this will output the key which you have created. Okay. And we are interested in this part of our key. So this is the ID of the key which we have generated. Okay, so I'll copy it and I will keep it with me. All right, perfect. So next thing what you want to do, you want to use this ID to export the public key. Okay, so this is what I want to do now. I want to export the public key from this ID. So what I'll do, I will run this command gpg dash dash armor dash dash export and then I will give the ID for this uh, gpg key so this will output the public public key block so what i want to what you want to do you need to copy this block okay so i will select this from begin block to the end block and i will copy this perfect and now what i want to do i want to add it in github so i'll go to my profile i'll click on settings and in this settings page what you will see uh yeah in this settings page you have this uh, section called uh, yeah let me just see I can yeah perfect so in this settings page you have this section called SSH and GPG keys so you need to click here and you when you will come here you will see a section for GPG keys okay so let me just quickly show you yeah so as you can see this is the section for GPG key so what I'll do I'll click on new GPG key and I'll give it a type to laptop windows 10 this is fine and what I'll do I'll add my paste my key public key so as you can see this begins from begin pgp block and then it ends with end pgp public key block so I need to paste it correctly and what I'll do I'll click on add gpg key and there you go so now this is looking perfectly fine so it has added my key and this is my key id which is looking perfectly fine so my gpg key is now available on github but i still need to tell configure git in my windows machine so i have to 
add some git configuration so that git uses the correct key correct software to sign my commits okay so to do that we have to yeah we have to add some configuration to git so first first of all what i'll do i'll set my username and password so i will do git config dash dash global user dot name my correct name and git config dash dash global user dot email my correct email so i will add this next thing what i want to do i want to add the signing key so this should be the uh, this should contain the key id okay so this is my signing key is this key id okay so what i'll do i'll add this uh, on i will yeah i'll try to configure this for git so i have done that git config dash dash global user dot signing key and this is my key id which i have generated there you go this is looking good next i want to tell git to by default sign all my commits okay so i will add this configuration that git config global commit dot gpg sign true so what this will do it will tell git that whatever commits i am making all commits should be signed using this gpg key perfect and then i will also add the setting to sign my git tags as well okay so this is the setting tag dot gpg sign i will set it to true and at the last configuration which we want to do is we want to tell git that where is the gpg program okay so to do that what you need to do just open the windows terminal and open command prompt okay and in command prompt what you need to do just uh, just search for where gpg so this will tell you the location of your gpg program okay and we need to set this location in git configuration so this is exactly what i am doing i am i am configuring this uh, git settings git global settings and i am telling that gpg program which it wants is available on this c program files location so this is looking good let's just check our configuration so what i'll do i'll do git config dash dash global dash dash list and there you go so now all my settings are getting reflected my username email is correct my signing key is correct commit dot gpg sign is true tag dot gpg sign is true and this gpg program it is looking fine perfect so now this configuration is looking good so what i'll do i'll restart this uh, bash terminal okay so i'll delete i will click on delete and then i will uh, run the terminal again perfect so this terminal is now available again so i will check git config settings so just to make sure that it is getting reflected so i'll do git config dash dash global dash dash list oops dash dash global dash dash list and yes perfect so this is looking good my git configuration it's uh, it's coming up perfectly fine so i can see my signing key is uh, reflecting and other settings are also getting reflected perfect so not now what i'll do i'll make another commit okay so what i'll do i'll give it signed commit yeah signed commit from windows 10 perfect i'll save this and i will commit these changes okay so i'll do git add dot now i will type git commit and i will give commit message signed commit okay and let's see what happens when i try to commit this so as soon as i run this uh, commit command now gpg software is trying to sign my commit and it needs the passphrase of my key because i have protected my key using this passphrase so what I'll do, I'll provide the correct passphrase. And there you go. So now my commit is signed commit. So what I'll do, I'll push this commit to GitHub and then we will see how it looks on GitHub. So let's just go back to GitHub. Yes, this is looking perfect. And I will select my repository and over here i'll click on signed commits demo and i will select this uh, i will try to check all the commits yeah so it's telling me three commits so let's just check this commit and there you go so as you can see that this third commit which i have done from my windows machine now my windows commits is coming up as verified so let's just click on this to check the details of this commit 
so when i click here so it git is telling github is telling me that this commit was signed with the committer's verified signature so this particular commit we have signed it using my own key this is not signed by github right so first commit was signed by github but the second commit is signed by the key which i have generated from my local machine so this is looking good this is what we wanted to configure right so now all the commits which I will make from my Windows machine, they will be marked as verified on GitHub. So let's try to do one more commit. Okay. So what I'll do, I'll type another uh, sign commit from Windows 10. Okay. Let's just make this change and I will add commit and I'll give a message another sign commit and now as you can see the second time when I'm committing this git software is not asking me for passphrase so the reason is the agent the GPG agent which is running on your Windows machine it will cache your passphrase for a certain duration okay so you don't have to enter your passphrase again and again when you are working on your local machine okay but after some duration it will again ask you for passphrase okay but yeah just wanted to show you that you don't have to type passphrase again and again perfect so now this is looking good i have committed it and i will push this change to github so i'll type git push and there you go push is complete now i'll come back here i'll refresh this page and there you go the latest commit which i which i have made this is also showing as verified commit using my gpg key id how cool was this so yeah all right guys so yeah this is all what i wanted to show you so now my windows machine is configured to sign my commits using the gpg key which is stored on my machine so yeah i hope this was useful i hope uh, that you will also try to set this up to mark your commits as verified commits on github and yeah if uh, you have learned anything from this video and if you think that this video is useful please do not forget to give me a thumbs up on this video and subscribe to my channel it it will just motivate me to create more videos like this so thank you so much for now and we will see you again in another video bye for now